Tonight, a former Sebastian City Council member has turned himself into authorities on sunshine violation charges. Damien Gilliams now has to serve 45 days in jail. That's for holding an illegal city hall meeting without proper public notice back in 2020 during the pandemic to take control of city leadership. Investigative reporter Terry Parker first broke this story. Tonight, she has another exclusive interview with the former council member. Damian Gilliam says he did the right thing when he and two other city council members opened up City Hall one night during COVID, held their own meeting, firing the mayor, the city attorney, the manager, and the clerk. He says he doesn't think the jury got the whole story. Still, he tells me that he is going to do his duty and do his time behind bars. Damian Gilliams volunteered in Sebastian for many years before finally becoming a city council member in 2019. This was the pinnacle to serve my community in this fashion, and um, it's very upsetting. Because shortly after being elected, Gilliams and two other city council members were involved in a city hall controversy and takeover that ended with a city in turmoil, two of them being arrested, and now Gilliams headed to jail. It's telling other people that live in the community that if you want to represent the people, this is what you have to look forward to. Gilliams and two other council members opened up City Hall after the city manager abruptly canceled a scheduled meeting where his firing was on the agenda. Gilliams said he did nothing wrong and even called his attorney for advice. He said, are we doing the right thing here? But prosecutors said they violated Florida's sunshine laws by planning the new meeting in private and a jury and appellate court agreed. Gilliam's current lawyer is filing a motion asking the appellate court to rescind its order while he appeals. Now, it may be that Damien's going to jail, but his case is going to the Supreme Court. Gilliam says all he ever wanted to do was serve, and if it means turning himself into jail, he will. I've been there 40 years, and I care about the community. I raised three kids there, and, um, you know. And while he's hopeful he may not have to serve the whole 45 days, he has plans for the future. And I'm going to run again. When I get out, the appellate court did drop a perjury charge against Gilliam. And as far as that other city council member, she too is appealing her Sunshine Law conviction. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.